Hi, I have another fun recipe to share with you, horchata. But first, we'll look into the history of this drink and its appeal in the global Hispanic community. Horchata is made in different countries using different recipes, but it's said to have originated in Valencia, Spain as horchata de chufa. The basis for horchata de chufa is chufa, or tiger nuts, which aren't nuts at all but tubers. They're soaked overnight and drained with a mixture of cinnamon, lemon zest, and sugar. Tiger nuts were brought over to Spain during the Moorish invasion. The crop demands a high humidity, warm weather, and sandy soil, and so can't be grown just anywhere. Horchaterias began opening in Valencia during the 19th century, and you can still find them all over the region and the rest of Spain to this day. As Spain began to colonize the globe, its culture spread with it. We see the reach of Spain all over North and South America. In Ecuador, they have Horchata Lojana, an herbal tea mix. El Salvador has Horchata de Moro, which is full of spices, including cocoa beans, cinnamon, nutmeg, coriander seeds, and allspice. Puerto Rico and Venezuela make Horchata de Ajonjoli, with a ground sesame seed base. The varieties are seemingly endless. Another famous horchata recipe is Otrata de Arroz from Mexico. With tiger nuts not being readily available in the New World, rice was incorporated instead. In his article for the New York Times, Atish Tazir describes watching homemade horchata with melons, walnuts, and prickly pear added along with the typical rice, cinnamon, and milk. And now we'll make horchata de chufa and horchata de arroz and see which comes out on top. Here are our ingredients. For the chufa, you need one cup of tiger nuts, two cups of water for soaking, two cups of water for blending, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of lemon zest, two cinnamon sticks, and an optional two teaspoons of sugar if you like it sweet. The arroz horchata is going to need one cup of rice, two cinnamon sticks, 12 ounces of evaporated and condensed milk, an optional half teaspoon of vanilla extract and half teaspoon of sugar, and lastly, eight cups of water divided. You'll soak your tiger nuts in water for at least 18 hours. For the rice, you can soak it for a minimum of four hours, but preferably overnight. I'll be making the chufa first, so after they're soaking, you'll drain and rinse the nuts. Place them in a blender with one cup of water. Blend until the mixture looks milky and frothy. I did have to stop and add more water to make it blend properly. Strain the mixture through a mesh sieve or a cheesecloth like I'm doing. If you've never worked with cheesecloth, it's a lot of fun. Put the liquid you strained aside. Add the blended tiger nuts back into your blender with the cinnamon, lemon zest, and one cup of water and blend some more. After you've blended the mixture, again, strain it once more. If using a sieve, press down on the nuts to get as much liquid out as possible, then you can discard the solid mixture and add the two liquids together. Chill your liquid until it's ready to serve. Moving on to the rice, you'll see that it's a similar process of blending and straining. Take about half of your mixture and add it to your blender. You'll see also that we're working with a lot more water. Blend the mixture for about four minutes. It's meant to look like a paste, but mine never became that thick. Strain out the liquid into a pitcher using the same process as the shufa mixture. Repeat the process with the rest of the rice mixture. Stir in the milks and vanilla. If you have a large enough container, you can add the four cups of water at the same time. I had to split up my horchata into two pitchers and then add the two cups to each. Make sure to mix it well. See how much it made? You can half the recipe if you don't need two full pitchers. And now we decide which is better. I actually really liked the Mexican version the best. It tasted like cinnamon milk. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Support public libraries, like, share, and subscribe for more great videos.